I am reading First Chronicles 16. So I was thinking today just how few in number Israel is. Um, for the simple fact is a lot of the church is deceived. For one, a lot of them are worshiping other gods, false Jesus, Tammuz, you know, all these things in which these people keep Christmas and Easter and all that. To me, it's exactly talking about what the father has said in Ezekiel, where he says they are worshiping or crying for Tammuz. And so a lot of his people are deceived. And I was just like, man, there's all these like churchianians and Christians and that kind of thing. But there's not a lot of people that understand the Hebraic roots of the faith. And so basically First Chronicles 16 was talking about how we were few in number. However, the father kept us and rebuked the kings that tried to chase after us. And, you know, he said, touch not his anointed ones, referring to the children of Jacob or Israel. And so it talks about how we were going from nation to nation and all this kind of stuff. Um, and that's where we are. We're all over the world. We're in nation to nation. And some of us might even be traveling between nations and that kind of thing. Um, but it was also funny because uh, a testimony as to how the Most High protects us. I was working at Abercrombie & Fitch one year. And there was a lady there. And a lot of times at work, I pick up things very quickly. Um, we'll say it's the Father because... It is. When you start to really listen to him and his commandments and meditating on his word, it's like your whole mentality changes and you're just able to understand things quicker, even if it's something as small as understanding things, how things, you know, operate at work. And so I remember this one lady, <laughs> she was like, she really liked me because I, I caught on quickly. Um, and there was another Christian girl there that she wasn't very fond of because she was just taking a while to catch on to things. And I'm kind of new in the faith. And I had read, like, you know, if this person is a believer in Christ, then they're my brother or sister in Christ. And so I'm supposed to um, encourage them and protect them and, and all these kinds of things. And so me being the Christian that I am, I took that literally and seriously. Um, and so the woman started making fun of her and she started trying to get me to jump in and do it and I was like there's just no way like I'm jumping in and making fun of this woman uh for one you just don't do that and for two she's a child of God like God would destroy me not happening and so she started making fun of me this lady and I had just read in Proverbs I think I don't know where it was at but it says a soft word turns away wrath and so I said, all right, well, soft word turns on wrath and around wrath. And so I tried to speak kind of gently on her and she kept going. And I remember where it said, you know, don't repay evil with evil. And so I said, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to chill here and let her do her thing. And then literally, literally something took her out. Like if I can imagine it, imagine seeing it, I imagine something did like a fly kick and just like, hurled her across the room and she was like flailing on the ground with her legs kicking up in the air I was <laughs> my mouth was wide open because I could not believe what was going on the bible says angels encamp around us okay if people come start trying to come for his people like the ones that are anointed by him that are walking in his spirit and in his truth then the father will lay hands okay he's not playing around when it comes to those kinds of things and this is why it's so very important to stay in his will and under his truth because if you take up his tabernacle and you walk in the ways in which he tells you to like literally nothing can touch you and he will literally send the death angel after people who are trying to put their hands on you but and that doesn't go to say that he won't correct people that are coming against you even if you are wrong because we reap what we sow, no matter what. If somebody repays you evil for evil, he's going to judge you both. So I think it's crazy how someone can come against you and, like, they don't, they're not even going to know what's going to happen to them. And it's like, I almost feel bad for them because I'm like, man, you don't, you might not even believe in the Most High and she didn't. Um, and you are causing turmoil toward his anointed people. And then, all of a sudden you get knocked down on the ground and you're out for a week with some kind of disease. So crazy, man. But yeah, just make sure you're keeping your eyes on the most high. Uh, it's not a bad thing to be persecuted according to the Bible. It's a very uncomfortable thing. I'm personally still trying to learn to count it all joy, but I'm sure once the father sews it completely in my mind, it's going to be 
like nothing never happened when people said or did crazy rude things to me so super exciting uh you guys be blessed and have a good one bye